What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing an abs routine that can be done absolutely anywhere with zero equipment. It only lasts 10 minutes and it's adaptable for absolutely all fitness levels. The only thing that I'm gonna recommend for only beautiful beginners out there is that you rest as needed through the entire routine. So take as many breaks as you need to and maybe see the routine as a challenge to complete the full routine. You may also check the easier variation that I'm gonna put in up here and you might want to follow that. For all the other brave people, simply follow me through the entirely of the routine. With that being said, I'll see you in the routine. Let's go! Alright family, let's get this workout started. We're gonna be laying down on our backs for reverse crunches. The first exercise, I'm gonna begin in five seconds. You can bend the legs or legs straight a little bit harder. Legs up, and we start. Crunch up, and lower the legs just a tiny bit, not necessary to go all the way down, and then go up. Here, really drive the hips forward, or up, I would say. And as you push up, the more forward the legs are, the harder it's going to be. So if I do it right here, it's gonna be a little bit easier than if I do it right there. 10 seconds left. And now with twisting, keep the legs up, go towards the left, only towards the left, 30 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna move on to the other side, really working now the left oblique. Fifteen seconds left. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two. One now to the other side, towards the right, really engaging that right oblique. Let's go. Same principle applies. If my legs are closer to me, it's gonna be easier as well if my legs are bent. It's gonna be harder if my legs are in front of me. Seven seconds left. Three. Two, one, keep the legs up, lower down. We're gonna be doing a figure eight with our feet. Our low back is always in contact with the ground, making the infinite side the best that you can. Let's go. This is the voice of reason. Ten seconds left. Stay with me. Stay with me. Break is coming. Break is coming. Three. Two, one, break, only 30 seconds we before we move on to the second block. We're gonna be doing three exercises, twisting crunches, full circle crunches, and small crunches with a straight leg. So a bunch of crunches, we're now gonna be focusing on the upper region of our core, as well as on the obliques, but now adding a little bit of rotation from top to bottom, rather than from bottom to top. Seven seconds left, twisting crunches, the legs up, twist to one side, then twist to the other side. You can also add like little punches. It might engage the serratus a little bit more, and it might feel more comfortable to get to the other side. Let's go, 20 seconds left. Is the 10 seconds left, stay with me. Left, right, or right, left. <laughs> Right, three, two, one. Now, lower the legs. You can bring the legs straight in front of you, hands behind your head, circle up, only to one direction. We're gonna be going 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds towards the other side, really focusing on the upper portion of the abdomen, so flexing the spine, not so much about the neck. Ideally, the neck shouldn't move that much. 10 seconds left. Try to make that circle bigger every time, really engage each side of the oblique, two, one, switch directions. Do your best to inhale as you are below and exhale as you crunch. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Bring the legs up. Now to kill the upper abdomen, touch the toes, up and down. Really focusing on this region right now. You can also place the hands behind your head. Ideally moving only the torso, not the head. 15 seconds left. Stay with me, break is coming. Five, really contract at the top. Three, two, one, and break. 30 second break. The next block, we're gonna be focusing mostly on compression. We're gonna be doing single leg V-ups, then full V-ups. Then we're gonna be ending up that block, so three exercises with an elbow plank. 30 seconds each exercise. We got 10 seconds left. This is the shortest block, so only one minute and a half. Give it all you got. It's pretty intense on the hip flexors, but you got this. Three, two, one, lay down. Go up, touch the left, go up, touch the right. Let's keep going. Use that exhale to drive you up and inhale to drive you back. Ten seconds left. Stay with me. Keep going to keep those legs as straight as possible if you're doing the straight leg version. Three, two, one, now full V up, so both legs, both hands at the same time. Try to compress the body as much as possible with control. 20 seconds left. If you need a little break and then keep going, feel free to take it. 10 seconds left. Otherwise, stay with me. Five, four, three, Two, one, make it count. Plank hold, so right away into your el elbows. Extend the legs back, protract the scapula, depress the shoulders, push the hips down, and really drive that posterior pelvic tilt so the quads are engaged. If you wanna make it harder, simply increase the lever of the plank. Or you can also go into plantar flex. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one and 30 second break before we move on into the last block it's going to be four exercises threading the needle inside plank then holding the side plank we move on to the other side thread the needle on one side holding that side plank then some elbow plank work to work keep working on the obliques so let's keep working on the entire midsection we got 10 seconds left use it wisely five four give it all you got three two one right elbow, side plank, left arm go through, thread the needle, and then go up. Thread the needle, go up, 20 seconds left. Really feel that left oblique as it goes here, feel that rotation, feel that engagement of the core. Up workouts is all about quality, not about quantity, to make every rep count. Three, Two, one, and stay on that side plank. Really drive those hips up and hold. Glutes are engaged, quads are engaged, abs are engaged, and obliques are engaged. 20 seconds left. Don't allow those hips to sink down. Push up, drive up, hold, stay. 10 seconds left. Two, one, moving to the other side. I'll face this way. So I don't give the back to the camera. Left elbow, threading the needle with the right. 20 seconds left, let's go. Five seconds left. one hold the side plank adjust as you need it really drive the hips up and hold. ten seconds left family stay with me three 
three, two, one, transitioning into side plank. Now, I mean, elbow plank, knee to the opposite elbow and back, right knee to the left elbow and back, really adding that rotation component and staying with the hips as low as possible. 15 seconds left. We're not going fast here. We're really reaching that knee towards the elbow and really contracting as much as possible. Three, two, one. Now going to high plank, mountain climbers, 30 seconds, finishing up. Last exercise, give it all you got. Some fat burning <laughs> effects now. And some endurance and conditioning. 15 seconds. Start to pick up a little more speed. 10 seconds. A little faster, not on control, but just faster. Five seconds, go. Five, 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 four, four. Stay with me, stay with me. Three, stay with me. Two, one, and break. Find a seated comfortable position that allows you to watch the mind and watch the body. Do your best best to inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth take a moment to observe the effects of your practice to calm your heart rate down to be present with any sensation that you may be feeling right now. Please don't feel discouraged if you couldn't finish the full workout. I said it on the last core workout, and I'll say it again. I'm dying, so don't feel bad if you couldn't finish the entire thing. But if you had to rest in between, see it as a goal, see it as a challenge. See it as something to strive forward towards it, rather than just shine back from it. 20 seconds of silence for all of us to connect with our mind, body, soul, and spirit. You can stay sitting down. Now let's go for four rounds more of the entire routine. <laughs> I mean, you could, this is only 10 minutes. So feel free to rest for two to three minutes or as long as you need it. And then you can repeat the entire routine two to three times if your main focus is on building that strong mix section. Otherwise you can add this routine on your resting days or you can add it at the end of every single workout. With that being said guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what else would you like to see on this channel and we'll make sure to cover that. And that being said, the winners from last video giveaway are gonna be announced right here. And you guys just won three months for free as a premium membership to the SM Academy, full access to the entire library of courses, workout programs, or individual moves so you can create your own workouts, our HIC section, our mobility and flexibility protocol section, our calisthenics skills section, our primal elements section, our mindfulness and meditation section, our hybrid home workout experience so you can work out at home, and basically everything that is the universe of the SM Academy. Remember that we post every Thursday at 12 p.m. EST, and if you comment within the first 60 minutes of the video, you get a chance to win the giveaway. With that being said, guys, I will see you all next week. Much love. Yes, 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 yes! Subscribe, we love you.